living soil cultivation can take on a bunch of forms. Um, you know, some people till, some people don't till. Um, there are all these different voices about what's best with living soil cultivation. Um, but really, I think the beauty with all of those methods, and my own included, is that we're creating this beneficial probiotic microbial community. for the plants to live in. And just in the same way that if you take antibiotics, a lot of times people will get a secondary infection because our beneficial flora have been stripped from us. Um, the same thing happens with plants. And the idea in most hydroponic or synthetic gardens is that essentially you're, you're killing a lot of the beneficial microbes. So everything that we feed our plants is with the goal of uh, enhancing the probiotic community. Um, and if you have probiotics, they can fight off a lot of the infections or buggers so that you, our systems or the, the plant system doesn't have to. So that's how we keep everything really healthy in the garden is because there's essentially an army of good guys on our side crawling through the soil in the form of uh, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, archaea, um, beneficial nematodes, um, you know, we, even we have like worms crawling through our soil. We got uh, little centipedes that'll, you know, cruise through the soil and, and eat decaying matter. And when they excrete, when they poop or when they die, they give all those nutrients, almost like a nutrient battery back to the soil and its microbes. So with living soil, um, unlike a synthetic fertilizer uh, application, in living soil, you make all of these nutrients available all the time. So the soil has everything you need. It's like standing in the middle of a grocery store and you can pretty much have whatever you want. Now in synthetic cultivation, the nutrients are already chelated. So they are immediately avail available for the plant. The plant doesn't have to do anything. So when you apply that fertilizer, it's like force feeding the plants. It says, I want you to have a can of peaches and this can of chili and some blueberries for dinner because that's what you need. Those, those nutrients are what you need. With organic cultivation, you're providing all the supermarket for the plant and then the plant will actually exude little sugars and carbohydrates and ask microbes to give them nutrients. So it says, so the plant's standing in the middle of the supermarket, if we're going with that analogy, and the plant says, you know what, I don't want the can of peaches and chili today. I'd like to have sushi. So it exudes a little bit of sugar, and then it's interacting with the microbe who has some sushi. It absorbs that, it takes it up, it says, that's good. You know, for dessert, I could use a little, a little raw cacao. If I could just have that, you know, and maybe, maybe a little cheesecake too. And if the plant wants it, that's what the plant gets. And so we allow the natural intelligence of the plant to just flourish. We give them the whole grocery store. We say, okay, whatever you want, we've got it here for you. And that's why plants are happy. That's why plants are healthy because they're not force fed anything. The world is their oyster.